Hey guys, Dreyse here. Just back for a little quick chat with you guys. It's been a little while since I've been on the camera. It's kind of because I had a sty in my eye. It was big, it was pussy. You don't want to hear the gory details, even though I already kind of told you them. But anyways, so what I want to talk about today is something uh, that I recently changed in a little bit of my process uh, of making a song. First off, for context, I'm working on a little project. If you don't know, I rap. I don't just make beats or mix songs. I actually started rapping a long time ago. So I'm working on a little project, a little something I'm gonna release uh, this summer and you know, just give you a flavor of what I can do um, and you know, just challenge myself in some interesting ways. What uh, I recently was coming across is I was trying to make this song. Uh, I had a very particular idea in mind. I wanted to get a bass line that reminded me of How's It Going, uh, or How's It Going Down by DMX. Um, and I was really trying to search for it. I was reaching out to a couple of different producers that I know, and uh, they're trying to give me you know, some assistance, but I wasn't really finding what I wanted. In the, in the process of coming up with this song, I had a conversation with my father recently, who also has made music for you know, the majority of his life. And he was uh, make, giving me some suggestions, not specifically for the song, but just general suggestions about production that I used in the development of the song. And I wanted to share that with you. So what he had suggested was, a lot of times you'll see a hip hop producer make a beat and then you know we send that to an artist and that's essentially you know giving them the template for what they can make a song around but a true producer or the historical version of producer however you want to define that is somebody who can listen to an artist with their base idea like just like say a, a chorus um, just some melody they came up with in their head and build the song around them so while I was working on this song, a producer friend of mine, Waxy Beats, shout out, uh, was asking me if I was on Splice. So I was like, nope, what's Splice? It's essentially a site where you can go, uh, instead of downloading an entire um, drum pack or a sample pack um, to not know what's in it, you can search for individual sounds and you get basically like 100 credits a month and you can download like 100 individual sounds for a subscription fee. It's like stock photography for sounds. I started checking out this site, started going through it, and while I was going through the site, I started thinking about what my, my, my dad was saying to me about building the song around the lyrics, you know, but around the artist instead of trying to make the artist match the, 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 the sound. So I started listening to different loops, and I found a drum loop uh, as I was rapping along to random sounds. Um, I found this one drum loop where immediately while I was rapping, the vibe I was getting was, was fantastic. And it was totally different than the bass uh, loop I was intentionally looking for. Every time I came across a bass sound that I'm like, oh, this sounds like it might work. And I would freestyle my verse over it. It just felt wrong. Like it just, it felt like my voice, in my, even in my head was conflicting against the, the, the bass sound. Uh, like I wasn't going to be a good match for the vibe that I wanted. But this other vibe that I picked up, all of a sudden I'm like, there's something special here. So I grabbed that loop, put it down, started uh, spitting over it, and then I started building a bass line around my vocals. I actually took the chorus that I came up with and actually played the bass line to match the melodic ideas that I had in my, my, my voice that I recorded, and then went back and re-recorded my voice to better you know, be in, in, in key or aligned with the, the actual bass line. And I've been building over the last few days different um, you know interesting uh, aspects to the song um, you know cuts to the to, to the to the the the, um, the drum tracks and whatnot just to, to better match the song I'm really building all the instrumentation around what my vocals are doing uh, which is making it a lot more interesting and sounds a lot closer to what you what you would hear on the radio or a professional release uh, record than if it's just you know some beat that I have that I think is hot and I'm trying to make myself better match the the instrumental this instrumental sounds much more like it was made for me even though it was a drum track you know that I found on splice so I just want to throw that out as some advice think about reversing your process uh, if you for instance can you know rap or sing even if it's not good and you never show it to anybody throw in a metronome listen to 
uh, the, the metronome at speed that feels good to you, start recording some rap or freestyling and then build your drums around that, then build your instruments around that. You can also go on places like Splice and they have acapellas you can, you, you can find. Or just find like an acapella on YouTube from like, you know, Jay-Z or somebody and build around that vocal. Think about the type of artist you want to work with, get some kind of acapella that works in that vein and build up the song to best match the intention of the song. Uh, around those vocals and you'll start to see that your production will come out very differently. Plus, the day that you get to work with an artist, you'll be able to approach them and be like, what is it you want to, what's your vibe? And as you start to hear that vibe, you'll start making it around them. And they'll just never have a beat that's as custom as that because it is as custom as it gets. Anyways, I um, hope this is helpful to y'all uh, and I hope you have a good day. Peace.